overview of the Nokia N900. Uh, if you've watched other videos on the N900, probably not going to be too much stuff new here, although future videos I will get into more on uh, using it for real useful things and, and a little bit of hacking it. Uh, you got your touch screen here, uh, you got your multiple workspaces, uh, contacts and widgets for different things. Now, if you are a Linux user and you're familiar with Compiz, you're going to feel very home at home with this, with uh, the sliding of your different workspaces. Mac users should feel pretty uh, comfortable with that too. Also, topping, touching the top left, don't remember what this is called in the Apple operating system or Mac operating system, but in, uh, in Linux, this is called scaling in Compiz. I press the top corner there and it shrinks down every application I have open. And you see right now I have seven applications running. Uh, I have my package manager, which if you're a Linux user, uh, you're familiar with. You can go through different categories and this is kind of like an app store for everything's free and pretty much all of its, most of its, open source. Uh, and if you're a Linux user, you can find a lot of the applications that you use on an everyday basis here in this package manager since we're running Linux on this phone. Um, here I just have a clock running. Here I have a calculator running. Here I have XChat. They also have uh, IRSSI, uh, if you're familiar with that uh, client. Got a full terminal. Uh, also have it unlocked. Just got a new email there. So you get notified there. So now if I do the scaling there, you'll see I have another message over here. And your messages, at least with my theme, show up as a yellow little notepad kind of thing there. If I click on that, it will bring me to the email there. And it says something about YouTube, so one of you probably just sent me a message. Uh, I have web browsers open with Google and Facebook. But I'm just showing you, I have a lot of applications open. And more and more phones are allowing you to run multiple applications like the Google Android and the Palm Pre and the Nokia N900 all Linux based operating systems uh, so go open source and um, but the this this phone has great processing power my wife's uh, Android great phone can run a lot of applications on it but it tends to bog down when you start running a lot of applications you can see I have a lot here open and it's still running great uh, any point in here when I'm in the scaling mode if I just click on the background it'll bring me back to my regular desktop now at the same time when I click that uh, I get this little menu up here in the same spot. I click that again, brings me to my application menu. So I have my basic applications here, settings here, click here, and I have more applications, which I'll get more into in the future, especially this one. Allows me to run any Debian application and have a full Debian desktop running on this within a uh, true root. So uh, I can run any application I run on my desktop, well, install it at least. Whether it run well or not on the phone, I don't know. Got to play with that more, but it, it really opens up the phone, but that's a whole nother tutorial. Same thing, if I click on the background here, I can go back to anything, and I can zoom in on any of these. So that's a quick look at the software. Hardware-wise, things that are great about the Nokia N900. One, it has two cameras. There's one right here for web chatting, which is really a low-quality, not very good camera. But on the front here, we've got a 5 megapixel Carl Seisler lens with flash and it also takes video at an MPEG-4 compression it takes it at a resolution of 800 by 400 something so that's a higher resolution than my video camera but uh, it still is compressed so it's not like the best quality but it's really good really wide screen and it takes that at 25 frames a second so that's the camera on the front that's great also uh, around the camera here I can flip this out and that becomes a little stand, so when I put it down on a table, it kind of tilts up instead of lying flat. So it's nice you can set it on a table in front of you, watch movies and stuff. Here we've got a port, uh, the headphone port, but it's also a video out port, so you can hook this up to a TV and display everything on your screen on a big screen. We got a stylus, which I don't use too much in regular mode, but when I go into my Debian operating system on it, since most of the programs are designed for a desktop, not for a phone, I use that. This little switch here. Uh, locks the screen and unlocks the screen. Up here we've got an IR port so you can control things like TVs so you can use it as remote control. Button for taking pictures with the camera. Power button which also drops down a menu here for going in silent mode and other options. And uh, 
Then you got this double button here. When you're in web browsing mode, that's one of the ways you zoom in and out in the web browser. Uh, most other places, it controls your volume. You got USB port there. You got stereo speakers on each side and nothing on the bottom. Uh, so on that, let's go into our web browser. So here I am in Facebook. I know it's hard to see in this video. Now I can zoom in by clicking this button on top and I can zoom out by clicking it. I can also zoom in by doing a little twirly thing with my finger and twirly thing with my finger to go out so you can see I'm zooming in. But the easiest way is just to double click on any object on the screen and it zooms right in on it. Got Flash 9 installed so you can watch Flash videos and play Flash games in the web browser. And now you wonder, you know, a lot of people go, well, why, why, why don't they just make it a double, you know, a multi-touch screen and do the pinching thing? Well, you know, that's the problem with uh, things that being patented nowadays. Uh, Apple has actually patented that movement on a touch screen. So even if someone develops the hardware that can handle it, they can't do that because they would have to pay royalties to Apple for, for all their devices. And that's one of the big things that's wrong with uh, you know, uh, just the system that we got going on. Anyway, that was a quick look at uh, the Nokia N900 basic overview. A lot of better videos coming up soon on hacking and networking and doing a lot of really great things with this phone. So keep watching and visit filmsbychris.com for more videos like this.